Hey, Phantom Maniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today, we are taking a look at the Amazon exclusive G.I. Joe classified series Arctic Mission Storm Shadow. You can see he's got a different deco than maybe what we're used to from a Storm Shadow figure, but that's okay because I'm sure we're going to see a regular old Storm Shadow in the mainline assortment sooner than later. Every single one of these figures has great art on the back representing the new era of G.I. Joe. On the side, you have a sort of shorthand file card. If you want more, you can go to the G.I. Joe website. But right here, we can tell that Storm Shadow's specialties are skulls, knives, nets, and throwing stars. Makes sense, right? For a ninja. All right. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. I've talked enough about the packaging. He's number 14, by the way. Uh, I've talked about uh, the packaging on other G.I. Joe unboxings, so please do go back and watch those. Give them a like. I'm going to pull out my trusty 1964 box cutter and slice right through that tape. Now you can see uh, my box is... it's fine but it's a little bent up and that's because amazon chose to send it in a bubble mailer never acceptable oh piece of paper how worthless you are uh never acceptable for a collectible but whatever i'm an opener so i can't get too upset about it on my own behalf all right look at all the accessories this guy comes with we have a quiver full of arrows a bow Tape, a grappling hook, a bladed stick. <laughs> I don't know the technical name for that. Uh, if, if it was 30 years ago and I was 14 years old still, I would probably know exactly what that thing is called. Uh, but I, I, I don't. That knowledge is lost to time. Uh, he's got his katana. He's got a scabbard for that. And of course, the figure itself, not being held in by any kind of plastic ties or anything, which I appreciate. Now, something I want to point out here uh, that I didn't realize when I first saw this figure is how off-white he is. I thought he was going to be more of a pure white and black, but he's really, like, this guy's name kind of should be Cream Shadow, because this is... This is not the pure white that I thought it would be. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure how I feel about the white that they've chosen for this. But I still do love the design of the figure. Uh, I like... And again, it's almost reinforced by the paint here that is a pure white. But I do like... I like the modernization, I guess, of this ninja character. Uh, he's got some armored pieces. He's got some flexible mesh armor, uh, but he's not overly done. Like, I don't feel like there's anything here that, that he passes the Batman test. If he had to fight like Batman, but also be a human being who might get shot or stabbed or whatever, he's flexible enough to do ninja stuff, but also armored enough to survive a modern fight, I guess. Uh, and I think he fits that fairly well. Uh, I like the way that they've separated the black and the white. I keep saying white. This is barely white. The black and the cream uh, just looks really good. I like this design quite a bit. Uh, and the gold highlights, you'll notice there's not a cobra anywhere on this figure. It's just the Arashikage symbol. And pardon me if I mangle the pronunciation there. But if we go back over to the packaging really quickly... Uh, it is a Cobra figure. He is a, you know, he's a mission of co or mission. Uh, he is a member of Cobra, according to this packaging. I wonder if we'll get a little more clear Cobra livery on any future Storm Shadow figures. But I like this uh, sort of battle skirt design here. It looks cool. Even the gold on the back here. I mean, this is a lot of really, really cool detail that they've put on this figure. I suspect, yeah, that hood. Oh, I 
kind of thought I was going to have to pop the head off. To, oh, look at this. Look at this really cool neck armor going on here. So many amazing little details and touches here that are making this line really stand out to me. So the hood just pops right back over the head there, and, and it kind of secures to the top of the head. It doesn't just sit on the shoulders. It does fit into the head, so it moves around and uh, has a really cool look to it. Uh, I like the, the, again, the pouches here. Pouches are good. People like to mock pouches. I think that's ignorant because where do you put your car keys if you don't have some pouches, right? Plus, I'm sure they're full of smoke bombs and other wacky ninja implements. So speaking of ninja implements, let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, I mentioned the katana. Not the best uh, or most consistent paint job here. You can see where the uh, painted silver didn't quite, or I guess steel didn't quite make it all the way down the blade, but we do have the sculpted Arashikage symbol right there. Uh, and we've got the sculpted, you know, the, the classic wrapped hilt that we're so familiar with. And then for the scabbard here, that's interesting. This hole, this is just a thing in six inch scale scabbards, and I don't know why, but whatever. Uh, so that slides right into there. Looks good. Uh, it's got the peg on it, so you can plug it either directly into his back, like so, or if you have the quiver of arrows, which cool black look. I like the gold again here, the gold on the arrows, uh, just you know, some deco hits to make it look nice, which unfortunately some of the classified line is lacking. So we can get the quiver to plug directly into his back. And then we get the sword plugs into that. So you get a cool uh, dual situation there. It looks very good. I like it a lot. I almost wish this was black. I don't know. Uh, but it still looks cool. It still looks good. I like it. Uh, and then we have his sickle weapon here, his his stick with a blade that I'm sure will fit just fine into either hand. Cool, menacing, scary, ninja stuff. Very good. Uh, we have his bow, which I kind of wish the bow would store somewhere. Again, there's a lot of kind of wishing going on here, but that's okay. I, I think about this stuff while I'm opening figures up. Uh, oh, I just noticed too, that this is a very sort of Hawkeye like quiver. Cause you can actually see the arrows through the sides here. These are open spots, uh, which you would be able to tell a little bit better if the single arrow matched in any way, the other arrows that this is bizarre to me. I don't know why he has this one white arrow and then these gold and black arrows, and they're all different sizes. This is this is weird, and this is something easily avoidable, I think. It doesn't drive me too crazy, but it's just why. Uh, and then finally, grappling hook. Grappling hooks are one of the coolest things possible about toys. I love a good grappling hook. I love when it has a lot of line on it, which this one does not really, but still, grappling hooks are great. I can put my own uh, line on that and make it longer if I really want to. Uh, who doesn't love a good grappling hook to just hook right on there? And then uh, take your guy, do a little raparooski, and now he's climbing up to the camera to stab you in the face with his stick with a blade. Oh, that stuck a little better than I thought it would. Uh, okay, so overall, look, it's Storm Shadow. It looks cool. I like it. It's it's ninja-y, but I can't say I totally love this one as much as I thought I was going to. This, this off-white that they've chosen is bizarre to me. I don't know why they didn't go with a more pure white, especially, like I said, considering the painted detail here is white-white. Uh... The lack of deco 
on some of the weapons is lame. I love that the sword isn't just all white, but they didn't quite nail it. This, I mean, honestly, this looks like Dollar Tree stuff, you guys. There's no, just paint this silver. Why isn't, why couldn't this be silver? Uh, or maybe even the tips here, make them silver as well. Something to make it not just this white piece of plastic. Uh, and they got the deco on the bow, and I think that's great. I love it. Now, obviously, we all know toy companies can't be putting, uh, you know, functioning strings. That Nothing that can be a projectile in that way is going to happen. But the bow looks great. Lots of sculpted detail here. The gold. I mean, this is very, very cool. If all of the weapons matched the level of sculpted, painted detail of this bow, uh, I would like this figure a lot more than I apparently do. And then this giant white arrow. Again, this just looks like Dollar Tree stuff. Uh, I'm not too impressed with that. So, look, I like the figure. I don't love the figure. I think a few different choices could have been made and we would have a really, really cool Storm Shadow that people are super stoked about. But as is, the only reason to be excited about this is that it's an exclusive and it was relatively easy to get. So uh, if you guys have thoughts about that, leave a comment down below. Please like, subscribe, share this video. Check out the Audible Interlude G.I. Joe podcast that's part of the Needless Things podcast family. And uh, tune in next time for more unboxing videos. Thanks for watching, you guys.